everyone. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to set up your focus notes. This is really important that you set them up in this specific way because we're gonna be using these not only as a tool for reading, but also for you to then go back and study from when we are taking our unit tests as well as the AP test at the end of the year. All right, so we are going to be talking about how to set up our focus notes paper so that it looks like this for AP World History. Now again, you're gonna notice that we have a topic and objective box. We're gonna have a place for you to put your information in case you ever lose these papers or hand them in, your essential question, questions, notes, and then at the very bottom, you are going to have a summary. This summary can also go on the back, but we'll talk about that later. So the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to set up my paper at the top. Um, again, you can use, I like to use the quad paper, you can use lined paper, you can use computer paper, whatever you would like. Um, so the first line I'm gonna make is about through an inch down and I'm gonna make that for my topic and objective as well as for my name, hour, and date. And my topic and objective is going to go over here. And then I'm going to make another one about an inch down. This is where my essential question is going to be. Your essential question is something that your teacher is going to give you. And this is really your purpose for taking notes or your purpose for reading. And so again, that's where my essential question is going to go. And your teacher should give this to you in the form of a question. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two columns, and this one on the left is going to be anywhere from one to two inches, and so I'm just gonna draw straight down. This is where my questions are gonna go, and again, these questions are going to be questions that I have about the text um, that are actually in there, so this is a great study tool that we'll talk about later. And then my notes that I'm taking on the text are going to go over here. Last but not least, I am going to leave a little room either at the bottom here or sometimes I have students who like to take notes um, even on the back side and then they'll just put their summary at the bottom on the back side, whatever works for you. So I'm going to put my summary box in. And again, here is my setup for my focus notes for AP World History. Now, one last time. On the top here is going to be your topic or objective. Usually in AP World History, this is where you are going to put the chapter and the section title as well as the name of that topic. Um, so it might say something such as chapter um, 12, section 1, introducing the Mongols. And then you're going to put your name, the hour you have AP World History, and then the date. Um, your essential question, again, we will always give you the essential question, so make sure you look for that on our um, Google Calendar. And then you are going to be coming up with your own questions. We'll go through that in a later video, as well as taking notes. Again, this section is all you. Um, I highly recommend having some sort of organization form. Again, we'll talk about that in another video, but drawings are great too. And then last but not least, your summary at the bottom. If you have any questions on how to set up your notes, just check in with one of your teachers. Bye.